1928, President Herbert Hoover confidently said, We in America today are nearer to the final triumph over poverty than ever before in the history of any land. Within a year, America was in the Depression. The Wall Street stock market crashed in 1929. Shareholders and businesses lost millions of dollars. Industrial production dropped by 45% and 5,000 banks went out of business. By the winter of 1932, America was in the greatest economic depression in its history. Over 13 million were unemployed. Many lived close to famine. In St. Louis, more than 1,000 people lived in scrap metal shacks. One New York family even moved into a cave in Central Park. Millions travelled the country desperately seeking work. The economy didn't fully recover until America entered the Second World War in 1941. There were too many goods being made and not enough people to buy them. This overproduction caused falling prices and job losses. There was unequal distribution of wealth. Millions lived below the poverty line, earning less than $2,000 a year. During the 1920s, America had put high import duties on foreign goods. Countries retaliated by putting duties on American goods. This made American goods so expensive abroad that no one bought them. There was also too much speculation on the stock market. Share values had risen for a long time, making people lots of money. So more and more people bought shares on credit, convinced that share prices would keep rising. Uh, these marbles are leading me up the wrong alley. I'll try my Wall Street account. However, due to the increasing weakness of the economy, business began to suffer and share prices fell. This caused panic. Bears, bears, two bears, four bulls, two nanny goats. Price pudding, if it comes down, divide by 16. Move to the right in fours. And the one... Can I do your nails, sir? People tried to sell their shares, fearing they wouldn't be able to pay back their loans. Eventually, share prices collapsed, leaving many people bankrupt and homeless. <laughs> America had lent huge sums of money to European countries. When the stock market collapsed, they recalled the loans. This had a devastating impact on the European economy, causing a world financial crisis. 